Welcome back, Gun Stuff viewers. We're so glad to have you with us. And we're with DeSantis Gun High. They've been with us right from the start. And it's an amazing story, 44 years in the gun industry, and they always are coming up with brand new products for the gun industry. I'm excited to have with me Greg Foster, who's going to show us some of the stuff for 2019. Greg, thanks for being on the show. You bet. Thank you, Chris. Pleasure I'm always impressed on all the new stuff you have. Well, that's one thing Gene and the, the whole DeSantis gang comes up with is something new every year. It doesn't matter how the industry's ebbing and flowing, there's always something new and innovative coming out of DeSantis. And you guys are on top of it every year. Absolutely. We've, matter of fact, we've already got holsters for uh, Mossberg's new 18X, I believe it is. And, you know, we, we're already ahead of that game. So, absolutely. And yeah. you got that 44 years of experience to make sure the product is right before it goes out the door. Correct. And as a matter of fact, you're even going to see when I talk here, we're, we even bring back some of the oldies but goodies. Well, show us what you got. Well, let me start here at the top. One of our most popular models is the soft tuck, which is an inside the waist suede, double reinforced so it stays open when you've drawn the pistol so you can reholster it one handed. But now we've actually come out with it and introduced it in leather to upgrade and go to a leather variant, which a lot of people were wanting. Then you go on into our standard speed scabbard, which is an open top holster. We've now gone from just the standard sewn belt loops to actual hard belt loops that can be reversed and put on the other side so that it's an abendextrous holster. So that no matter who buys it, lefty or righty, he can switch that holster out and make it for his pistol that he buys it for, whatever his hand is. And, and all they have to do is just switch it out. Just take those screws out, move that bracket to this side, that bracket to this side, and now it's a left hand. And it also then helps with the extra holes to be able to move it to give it the cant you want to carry. Just a multiple of features that, that they think about ahead of time on things like that. You know, I think that's what uh, DeSantis is known for is innovation and also accommodating the user, right? Well, that's true. And they're all gun users, Dan and Gene and Helen and, and Chad. So it's not like people that's, that's never handled firearms. They actually handle them day in, day out. They're personal shooters, and so they, they know what a holster should feel like and what works. And also today, today you're going to show us? One of the other items that we're bringing back. You know, back in the day when, when federal agents and cops only carried revolvers, we came out for the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center for their training guys to issue, and it became a federal agency issue holster. And you remember the old speed loader? That's right, the speed loader. So the holster actually came not only as the holster itself with what was called the FBI cant at that time, but it had an attachment that you could either put a speed load on, a speed load pouch, or you could put a, a um, strip pouch and included what's called a two by two by two pouch. So you can have that anyway now. There's a lot of revolver lovers out there. Oh, Still there are. Day, there's a lot of revolvers out there. So that means, hey, these guys have something to go back and, and go back into the past as well as young shooters that are just coming in. Hey, this is, this is a great holster. This was the most popular holster back in the 60s and 70s and, and 80s. That, that was what really made people click. And with a handgun, the uh, weak link can often be the actual holster. And that's where DeSantis comes in. You really want to trust your life. You're going to go for DeSantis. Right. And, and again, that's one of the things that they make sure they mold and fit every holster exactly like it needs to be to the pistol. You've now got the active retention or passive retention, but the passive retention usually is this tightened down of a screw to make the, the holster fit tighter against the pistol itself. Or you can go with active levels, which are mechanical, which lock the pistol in place and have to be physically released by pushing a button or a, some, some form of a release. So all of those, they take and make sure that the pistol is molded and fit well to the holster. And then if the release is at the trigger guard, it makes sure it's a good solid fit there. So all of it, there's there's a lot of thinking that goes into these holsters. One more that's really popular, you know, we've got a whole lot of the shotgun companies coming out with these little pump or semi-automatic shotguns that have just a pistol grip. Okay. That's, a, that's one of the big populars. And I'm sure as you've walked the SHOT Show, I know I've seen five or six different manufacturers doing it. Well, we're, we're doing the Kurs shotgun case which is a suede 
yet look at the quality of the wow. leather stitching and reinforcement as like this particular one is for a 410 so it's got the little slots to be able to put your extra ammunition in it has the security leather strap to go around it so that it locks it in place and it's a good solid little carry that protects the firearm with just the pistol grip out only so again if somebody's coming out with something we're going to have some sort of a holster or scabbard to go in and go for and it. you're going to make it look like a work of art right oh, yeah. it, well again look at the workmanship yeah can i get gene to make me some shoes like that there you go <laughs> that, that would be fantastic well greg that's wonderful thanks for taking some time out of a very sure. busy show and spending some time and showing our viewers just what the sandus gun height is made out of thanks for being on the show good thanks sir